Next up, we will hear from Mr. Kevin Jennings, founder of the Gay Lesbian Straight Education Network and Gay Straight Alliance, and currently the president of Tenement Museum in Manhattan, who will be reading in honor of my fellow Bangladeshi, Julhas Mannan. Welcome. Julhas Manan was the founder of Bangladesh's first LGBT magazine. This is his story. I was born in Bangladesh in 1976. My mother was an officer in the Ministry of Education. My father was heavily involved in the Bangladeshi independence movement prior to my birth. You could say I was born with fire in my blood. I could not resist getting involved, taking action on the things I was passionate about. As a gay man, I knew that my education and comfortable life put me in a position to promote peace and understanding between LGBT people and the Bangladeshi society at large. I knew it wouldn't be easy to speak up about these issues in a society driven by heteronormative patriarchy in a country where being different or unique is mostly frowned upon. I also knew that LGBT people were suffering in a society that wrongfully alienated them for their feelings. That suffering made any risk worth taking. In, in 2014, I founded Rup Ban, Bangladesh's first ever LGBT magazine. My vision behind the magazine was simple. I wanted to bolster the image of the LGBT community as a real, visible, active, and open-minded community. When the first issue was published, however, we received very harsh backlash from the public. I was prepared because I'd already seen people lose their lives because they advocated for this very same cause. The situation was hostile, but I was unfazed. On the Bengali New Year in 2014, through Rupan, I successfully organized a rainbow rally in Dhaka. The event was highly applauded by the crowd, but nevertheless, online news portals began to give us labels. They called this event a pride rally by homosexuals and called attention to us for organizing it. The public was furious, but luckily their rage remained contained online. Things started going south in the spring of 2016, however. In April, I tried to host another rainbow rally for LGBT youth in Bangladesh, but this effort was ultimately thwarted by the malice of Islamist groups. We started receiving threats from extremists that everyone attending the event would be murdered. I didn't want to endanger anyone's life, but I also didn't want to capitulate to the cowardly threats of extremists. The police, evidently, were more pragmatic than I. They canceled the event. My life became difficult after that. A sheikh started defaming my work and writing by claiming that it was all adult content. It truly amazed me how so many people were able to construct arguments out of sand to destroy me. I decided to counter this by coming out online. I published photos of myself and openly admitted to being gay. That's where our story stops. On the 25th of April, 2016, a man entered Julhaz's apartment pretending to be a delivery man and wielding a machete brutally attacked him and a fellow activist. They were hacked to death. Their neighbors heard it all. His name was Julhaz Manan. This is his story. Let us have a moment of silence in his memory. Thank you. 